Namaste guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to watch about Lingam and why Lord Shiva is worshipped in the form of Lingam. Actually for me it's a very interesting topic because I always was curious uh, about like why it looks like this because the shape is really quite unusual and I would say metaphoric. Also, one day I went to St. Petersburg and if you subscribe to my vlogging channel, you know about it. I went to museum there and uh, there was also a small lingam and I was like, why it has a form like this? So guys, please give me a thumbs up and let's find out. Let's go. In Hinduism, Shivling is a symbol that represents Lord Shiva as the most powerful deity. Temples are built in his honor, including a shivling, which represents all the energies in the world and beyond. There is no origin or form that can be associated with Shiva. Humans need a symbol to worship. So the Ling was created. Ling. Yeah, you know, I also saw some there. It was a celebration and I saw that people pour milk and kind of maybe wine on it and I was always so interested in it okay means symbol for example if someone used a stethoscope it could identify that person is a doctor mm. a link is mm. just a symbol to identify something this symbol we call shivling has a scientific explanation shivling of consists course. of three parts the bottom that has four sides remains underground uh -huh. The middle part that has eight sides remains on a pedestal. The top, which is actually worshipped, is round. The height of the round part is one third of its circumference. The three parts symbolize Lord Brahma in the lower mm. part, Lord Vishnu in the middle and Lord Shiva in the oh, upper part. Like the pedestal is provided with a passage to drain the water that poured on the top. Lingam mm -hmm. symbolizes the creative and destructive power of Lord Shiva and the devotee attribute great holiness Beautiful to him. Statue. This does not mean that others should give a false meaning to the image of Shivling. It is unfortunate that Western scholars have mistakenly associated this Lingam with the phallus, a male sexual organ, and have really? seen obscenity in worship, <laughs> as it is described that Lord Shiva has no form. It is ridiculous uh. to claim that Lingam represents a phallus. Yeah, this is That strange. is why Swami Vivekananda described Shivling as a symbol of eternal Brahman. Hinduism does not oppose science. It doesn't even oppose other religions. Mm -hmm. Science is a continuous effort to discover and increase human knowledge of the physical or material world through experiments and observations. But Hinduism has the strength to provide nissuas to certain problems that science has That's not true. been able to solve. Shivling represents the entire cosmos and the cosmos in turn is represented as a cosmic egg. Again, mm. an egg is cosmic an ellipsoid egg. that represents neither a beginning nor an end. The truth behind the scientific research conducted by scientist Niels Bohr shows that the molecules are made up of atoms that consists of protons, neutrons and electrons which play a vital role in the composition of shivling. In those okay. days, instead of using those English words such as protons, neutrons, electrons and energy, ancient sages used words such as Lingam, Vishnu, Brahma, really? Shakti etc. Since wow. Sanskrit was the dominant language in those periods, Sekh Vyas, the author of Mahabharat, mentions that Lord Shiva is no smaller way. than subatomic particle like proton, neutron and electron. At the same time, he also mentions that Lord Shiva is greater than anything greatest. Shivling is not just... This is like about energies, about physics. I am not surprised. Hinduism is always about science. Just a simple symbol. Our rishis wanted to send a message to the masses that they can see the smallest form of nature in the form of shivling. Shivling represents what? the atomic structure. In our atomic structure, there are protons and neutrons surrounded by electrons that spin rapidly. 
an examination of the image of Shivling in the context of Bohr's model would demonstrate the surprising truth wow. that Brahma created the world. Shivling demonstrates the behavior of protons, electrons, neutrons, and energy. Lord Vishnu means proton with a positive electric charge. This is a very interesting Lord Shiva idea. means neutron without an electric charge. Lord Brahma Whoa. means an electron with a negative electric charge. Shakti is represented by an oval shaped disk with three ridged carved on its periphery. She is energy and plays a vital role in the universe. If we look at Lord Vishnu's portrait, a lotus mm -hmm. that emerges from Lord Vishnu's navel is depicted and Lord Brahma is shown sitting on the lotus. Lotus means energy yes. that has the yes. force of attraction. The lotus stem can bend due to its flexibility, indicating that Lord Brahma moves around Lord Vishnu. Whoa, this is a message what? that the electron is attracted really? to the protons due to the opposite electrical charge. In addition, neutron is, is represented as Lord Shiva, which has no charge. The nucleus of the atom also contains neutrons. Neutrons are about the same size as protons, but they have no electric charge. Neutrons are very close to the nucleus of the atom with protons. When the <laughs> nucleus of the atom contains as many as protons and neutrons, the atom is stable. Similarly, the ancient sages have suggested that when Lord Shiva is not disturbed and separated, he remains calm. Lord Shiva keeps calm because Shakti takes the form of Renuka. The energy Renuka. that forms the molecule is denoted by their valency, which in Sanskrit is Renuka. Uh. Renuka is one that produces Renu or Renu. a molecule. Two atoms from a molecule. Therefore, the ancient Hindu sages brought the idea of Shakti as Lord mm. Shiva's wife mm. and as part of Lord Shiva and <laughs> dance around Lord Shiva all the time. However, on, when neutrons is disturbed and separated, disasters occur. Which means that Shakti ends up being a terror known as Rudrani or Kali, who performs Kali, a destructive yeah. dance I indicating a natural disaster. Our ancestors did a great job. But as time went by, the true meaning was lost, leaving behind the traditions and literature which we can study. We must study all the ancient literature which we can study. We have to study all the literature and ancient traditions to this revitalize knowledge. Thank you so much guys for watching our video. Do like, wow. comment. So guys, I want to say that this is really ridiculous for me that some people believe that this is a symbol of a phallus. And I was like, what? Do you really believe in it? And yes, the explanation of this video just blew my mind up literally because it was all about science, it was about physics, all these neutrons, protons. It was, a, it was said uh, about energies of our universe. And I just, it, I have no words, really, I'm speechless because how it is possible if it's true, I don't know, <laughs> just just modern science with different names i mean how it is possible so guys please share your opinion about this video what you think about lingam maybe you have a different opinion i would like to learn about it and guys if you liked this video please subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram and see you soon bye bye